everyone, this is Susie again, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my onion and habanero little side dish. This is just like, it's like spicy onions, that's all it is. And you use this to put like on the side of uh, any meal that you uh, make that you want to, you know, just want to add a little bit more spice. You can add this to like anything, some tacos some you know alongside your tofu scramble whatever you like so th this is what we're gonna need and let's get started okay so I went ahead and cut up my onion it's about one cup of onion and I sliced my habanero pepper and now I'll show you what to do next okay so we're going to cook our onions so I'm going to turn on my pan and I'm going to add my onions And I'm going to add some oil, okay? So I added three tablespoons of just uh, canola oil or vegetable oil or any oil that you cook with is fine. And we're just going to heat this up until it becomes a little bit soft and translucent. I don't cook this for a long time. I just want it to get a little soft. And we're going to add the habaneros. And you can add more or less. I like to add the habanero in larger pieces. That way... I make sure that I don't eat them because they're super spicy and um, but you can also like chop it up like really really finely if you do like habaneros you just chop it up really finely and you add it to the um, to the onions and that'll be good too so these are like super spicy sauteed onions and like I say you can add this to like any dish um, they go well with like anything if you want some more spice added to your meal this is a great uh, way to do it it's not super healthy because it does have oil, but it's really good. So I do this once in a while. Not a lot, once in a while. So now I'm going to add about like a fourth a teaspoon of salt. saute this for like about three to five minutes I would say and let me show you what they look like okay so that's what they look like and it's been about three minutes that it's been cooking and let's add the rest of the ingredients so this is uh, one of the things that I add to it I add the adobo the goya adobo and this is the one without pepper and it's just a seasoning. If you don't have this, I will see if you can see the ingredients there. So you can just probably add some of the ingredients that are there, like garlic powder and things like that. Okay? And from this seasoning, I just add like a tiny bit, like a little sprinkle of it. Not even a, like, just like a pinch. It doesn't need that much. And you just mix that in. And that's it, you just turn off the heat, so it's been like four minutes. Okay, you turn off the heat. This would probably be good for like a Thanksgiving dinner because it has orange in there. <laughs> the orange color. Um, so it would probably go well with the theme if you want to try that out. And you can also always do less of it. Try less of it, see if you like it, and then do a bigger batch, like I always tell you. Do a small batch first, and if you like it, then you can do a larger bag, batch, or um, add a little bit of the pepper, and then add more if you think that it needs it. So, because this is super spicy, but we do like super spicy, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I do is I transfer it over to a little bowl or dish. 
This will store in the fridge for several days. Um, usually we go through it really quickly so and then once you transfer it over to your bowl you add about like a half of a teaspoon of lemon juice and this really brings out the flavors it's really good and you just mix that in really well and if you think that it that it needs more salt you can just go ahead and add more salt and that's it that's the recipe and you just you know serve this like I say, with anything that you make, you just put it on the table and let people, you know, serve themselves. And it's really good. So I'll have you um, look at it right now. Okay, and there you have it. That's it. I hope you guys like it. And uh, let me know what you think. And just before I forget, the Goya Adobo, you can find that at, like, the Mexican aisle of your grocery store. Um, or if they don't have that, just any other type of like seasoning uh, would probably be great on that, okay? And you can probably also add this to like, if you like burritos, you can add it to your burritos. Um, or if you, if you uh, use it in any way, any special way, please let me know so I can give it a try. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.